The moment is almost here. It has been 19 years since the Illini punched their ticket to the Sweet 16, and they are on the doorstep of doing just that, facing Duquesne in the second round with just one win, separating them from a trip to Boston to continue dancing. The Illini worked out at CHI Health Center in Omaha here behind me on Friday, turning their attention to the Dukes, one of the hottest squads in the country. Duquesne has won nine straight games, including the A-10 tournament title, to punch their ticket to the NCAA tournament for the first time since 1977. And they say they want to try and slow down the pace against the Illini. The Dukes ranked 251st in the country in adjusted tempo. We know they're a really good team. We're going to try and slow them down. We're going to play the, play the game that we know how to play and not change on, any, on anything like that. We just can't allow the game to get up into the 90s and 80s. We just have to grind it out. I think if we can stop them in transition, we'll be in pretty good shape and keeping the game down in the low 60s. That's what we do. Duquesne coach Keith Dambrot knows that slower pace won't be easy against an Illini team that likes to get out in transition. He coached LeBron James in high school in Akron and gave a big compliment to Terrence Shannon Jr. It reminds me of LeBron in the open court. Thankfully, not quite as good as LeBron, but pretty good. And the Illini say they're up for the challenge of trying to speed up the Dukes. I mean, good luck. If you make it a low possession game, yeah. If you're turning us over, you could try, but as soon as we get a gap, uh, uh, you know, they, they got to start playing at our pace. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. It's a 740 tip in Omaha here Saturday evening on TNT, and the Illini are 10 and a half point favorites just 40 minutes away from making history. Reporting in Omaha, Nebraska, for your Illini Nation, Brett Barron's WCIA 3 Sports.